This is a fiance on Master Lee. And Lulu. So this video is gonna be a doozy, y'all. A couple months ago, Lulu comes up to me and goes, John, have you heard of OnlyFans? <laughs> yes. It's like, John, I wanna do OnlyFans. Yes. Can you help me? <laughs> so my response to that, you're gonna find out. All right, so by the time this video probably comes out, you will know what we ultimately decided to do when Lulu said she wanted to do OnlyFans. She wanted to think about it and potentially put herself out there for the world to see her, her coochie and moochie and... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the coochie. <laughs> You'll see if you want to go check out her OnlyFans, uh, in addition to her YouTube channel, which she just started up. So yeah, when she told me this, my reaction. So here's the thing, right? In essence, this is story time, y'all. This is what I thought and eventually where things led to. Now, you know, a couple months ago, we were already in the throes of conflict and sort of, uh, you know, back and forth about, well, what do you want to do here, Lulu? I mean, you say you wanted to do YouTube, yet you haven't done YouTube. After a thousand videos, I made a whole another video about this. You really didn't do anything. And that inspired you to say, all right, I'm going to go start up my own channel, which she did. And you've been posting content up, perhaps not to the aspired goals that you set for yourself, but uh, you've definitely at least you know, continue the process. But the thing is that I don't think you got really far with it. And then once again, you spring one of those, I want to do something else. Like it's one of those things where every couple of months she's got this new idea of like, this is my new dream. This is what I want to do. It's ADD thing. And this is the latest one. So when I heard like, yeah, I want to do OnlyFans, honestly, I just brushed it off. I'm like, whatever because i didn't think you would actually take it seriously especially since my understanding of only fans was that it was an adult yeah it was a very adult thing like mm -hmm. it was for adult entertainers to have a way to connect with their fans a credible intimate experience and you know they would pay for more personal digital services <laughs> <laughs> so that was my understanding of it right, right. so what was your understanding of OnlyFans when you mentioned you wanted to do OnlyFans. My understanding was it's kind of similar to Instagram, but you can post more of revealing, you know, because I, what I thought on Instagram, you can't really post something that is too revealing, so too suggest what's that word suggestive suggestive sexual sexual sensual and stuff like that with all taboo the <laughs> so what is your definition of too sensual nipples popping out right right or like you're wearing let's say sheer where you can see the nipple or too sexy here that you know you can the see hairs, some of your bum bum the, the hair is like sticking the through the thin fabric watch that hey there's a fetish for everyone oh yes yeah, true so, respect so what makes you think that instagram suddenly is not enough for you because you started up instagram too oh you yeah were like oh i want to do instagram <laughs> but you barely post right so instead of me because i love to you know again flaunt pictures and do fashion thing posting it on instagram i'm not really you're kind of like wasting your time that's why i i stopped posting there or i don't post constantly because then you're not progressing or i don't know how to say it while on only fans you can make some dollars uh -huh. okay right? so, so the truth comes out right, right what you were thinking about right because it takes so long to make money on Instagram and on YouTube. Ah, There's certain... now this sounds like Lulu. Right? So if I were to interpret this, you were saying it takes too much work to turn this into a viable career path or a money-making opportunity. Uh, but for OnlyFans, I just need to show some nipple and I can make money today. <laughs> <laughs> right? Did I summarize that just about <laughs> correctly? Maybe. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's what I was understanding. Okay. Well, at least like, you're fair you enough to at least admit it. Yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you on how you're going to post. But yeah, um, your you were thinking about more mature fans. content, and you were happy to do that because ultimately you're like, well, I can make money right away. Right away. Even yes. though I know how to make money on YouTube, and I can teach you how to make money uh, quicker, you still think that. Because, I would rather go do this because on OnlyFans. on OnlyFans, you can just do a quick photo shoot, right? And then 
short videos. Unlike YouTube, you gotta have to prepare a lot. Although, it, although there's no difference of preparing <laughs>、okay. when you do the、I、the、see. OnlyFans, because with me with my content, I like it not just like a selfie. I prepare for my content, so it's almost similar, but at the same time, it's less time. An effort to is it less、okay. time and effort?、Or? Well, you're gonna find out. Because I feel like I, I mean this is the big thing we need to find out, right? right? But I think you're summarizing it here, right? In addition to what I just said, the other part of it is it's less work. Less, you're not you're not、yeah. willing to put in the work to build these other ch- channels. Although, quite frankly, I can't imagine anything that's less work than Instagram. I mean, Instagram、well. is the lowest barrier to entry to commitment. Uh, to post daily, you can literally just post whatever you want in Instagram every day and build a following. If you just stick to it, I, mean, I don't know. It's I think a whole separate story we can get into. But that was what went through my head, which is I don't think you're going to stick to this because it's just flavor of the month. But I can see the appeal, and I'm willing to bet the reason why you came to me for it is because you must have saw it or someone told you, and someone said easy money. Yes, a lot of people. When I did the research, you know, I was watching YouTube. It is an easy money, but I knew it's gonna be difficult because there's no way to promote your account, right? Instagram is going to, I don't know, they're gonna ban you or maybe not ban, but they're gonna shadow you. They call shadow. So、exactly、here's the thing, right?、That. I think you understand that part, but it's puzzling to me because what I have. Constantly said to you that if you want to ultimately be entertainer, you have to find your audience. Do whatever it takes to build an audience, right? And if you're telling me it's that hard to build an audience and too stressful to build it on YouTube and too much to build it on Instagram, it is ten times harder to build it right, on OnlyFans. Only I guarantee、so. you, because these other platforms, their secret formula is that they have an algorithm that recommends content to people. That's why they're so valuable. They are so good at recommending the right kind of content that you want to watch until you stick with it,、mm. and that's how you grow. OnlyFans doesn't do that. There is no、right. recommendation system because it's mature content at the end of the day. Although they may eventually introduce something like that, I can see them doing it. But right now, you have to bring in your own audience, and I'm willing to bet,、uh, without digging much further, that the vast majority of people who go on OnlyFans don't make money. Mm-hmm. And the ones that who are willing to do more extreme things, which is、That's、get naked and maybe、money. even sex acts,、right. they probably can make some money. That's right. But it's almost inevitable. Almost every one of these platforms, unless you're in the top one percent, you can't do it for a living.、Mm-hmm. It, it's not viable. Even on YouTube, we are now technically in the top one percent. At a hundred thousand subscribers, we have enough subscribers and make enough money to consider top one percent. But You know how much we make, and it's far below what my income was when I was working full time、uh, in the tech industry. Like you know, far below,、mm-hmm. right? And so I think this is one of the things that if you want to think about OnlyFans, you really need to think this through. This was that was my reaction, right? Right. My reaction was that the more she kept bringing this up, was that she needs to dig into this to really understand whether or not. This is a truly viable、uh, opportunity, and、mm-hmm. whether or not you can stick with it. Right. So here's the thing, right? You know, well, I first heard about、uh, OnlyFans a couple years ago. A couple enough, years ago? Yeah, they've been around a couple years now. Oh. But they started off on. So it's interesting. They started off as a platform for social media influencers to have these kind of connections and pay. You know, you could pay like a, your favorite music artist,、right. or like, hey, how yeah, you doing? Personal shoutouts, yeah, kind of stuff like that. It's like personal shoutouts,、mm-hmm. right? And then they were either acquired or you know, mostly majority owned by this company. Or someone who owns a company that was in the webcam business, and、uh, webcam、oh. business is huge. Adult entertainment content. So that's how. And they he's like, this could be big money, and that, and that's <gasps> when the influx of all these adult entertainers、oh. came in, and that's how it started to blow up. I think it really blew up in the last six months because now people are stuck at home,、mm. and so a lot of average girls are going like, right, you know、right. what? I need to supplement my income. This、yeah. doesn't seem that hard. Right. And because of that, it suddenly became. Ironically enough, like mainstream again, right? So suddenly, every social media influencer is going like, you know what? I think I can do this. And some of them are, you know, posting up. I would say more scantily clad, but they aren't naked. And some other ones actually are going full naked.、Yeah. But man, you know, once someone like Cardi B comes on board, and well, actually, Cardi B was used to be a stripper, so I don't think that's a big <laughs> stretch for her. I can see something like for her. No, where- but she said she mentioned it, literally mentioned it. 
I'm not gonna be naked there. It's more of like a behind the scenes. You know what? She um, gets filmed naked, flashing her boobies all the time. She doesn't do it on Instagram, but you know, you could tell she's kind of held back. And if she was let loose, she would be freaking hilarious. She has no uh, uh, what's the word um, inhibition when it comes to like just showing whatever side of her saying whatever mm, she wants yeah so i have no doubt that you will see glimpses or naked there i don't think it's the kind of thing like well i'm gonna strip for you type of thing because quite frankly cardi b doesn't need to do that anymore cardi b is like yeah i put out whatever i want and you will see what my life is like versus let me just cater to what you want individually mm -hmm. if she did that she would have to charge a hundred thousand like dollars <laughs> yeah, per right? personal post right that's true. can you imagine someone getting like a personal message from cardi b playing with herself like a stripper that's Holy that's big cow. money but yeah she's on there now and then bella thorne yeah. went on there the ex disney princess who you know, honestly, caused more controversy than good because she says she was going to post news and then she didn't. And but yeah, it opened up the gateway for a lot of people. When it got to that point recently, my mind started to change about what OnlyFans is as well. So I was like, all right, you know what? Everyone seems to be jumping on board. If you want to do it, fine. If you want to put out more risque photos and show a side of you, I know you like modeling, and that inspires you to actually stick to something because you enjoy doing it. And if that inspires you to learn about the business and that inspires you to take entrepreneurship seriously, then I am 100% for it. Mm. If this inspires you to make positive changes in your life and you wanna you know, go more risque and it's entertainment, then I'm open to it. I'm open to what OnlyFans could do. But here's the thing, right? 